Hello everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to use the Remove Attributes option in DaVinci Resolve 16.2. At present, I currently have the Edit tab open in my DaVinci Resolve interface. On my current project timeline, I have one edit from a video clip file featuring Bobby the Dog. What if I were to manipulate this particular video clip by zooming in, for example, using the transform tools underneath Inspector, once I have selected the clip and adjusted the settings underneath this menu option in the top right corner of the edit window. Like so. How are we able to reset the properties to the image and video files that we manipulate in DaVinci Resolve? If the last procedure you did in DaVinci Resolve was a manipulation of the video clip such as its zoom for example, you can hold Ctrl and press Z on your keyboard. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. This is an example of how you can undo a change made to an original edit in your DaVinci Resolve software. You may also click on the rotating arrow symbol which appears next to the properties in the inspector window for example to reset their default values. Left click once and the original zoom value is restored here for example. But what if you are not able to relocate the properties which you adjusted for your particular video clip? How are you able to reset the zoom property for example rather than using the reset button here? or Control or Command and Z on your keyboard. With my video clip of Bobby the Dog selected, underneath Inspector and Video, there is a composite mode set to Normal. I'm going to change this to Color. If I right click on the video edits on my timeline, and go to Remove Attributes towards the top of the list here, we can see a range of attributes which we can reset in DaVinci Resolve using this particular window here. My intention is to reset the composite mode that I set to the video clip of Bobby on my timeline. Therefore I go to Video Attributes and left click once in the box next to Composition Mode in the top left corner. With this box ticked I go to left click once on Apply at the bottom right side here. And note how the composite mode has been changed from color back to normal, its default value. Opacity refers to the value set in the subsequent section in your inspector, determining how visible your video clip or image file is. My current opacity level is set to 56.44. Having ticked the box here underneath video attributes for opacity, I will left click on apply and the default value for opacity of 100 returns to my video clip properties. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have highlighted using the keyframe diamond symbol on the right side here in Inspector, and tick the boxes of the relevant properties that will be reset if I left click on the apply box in the bottom right corner of the remove attributes window here. These five options can be found underneath transform. Note how that this doesn't cover the zoom section, which will be covered in the subsequent section. The position X and Y coordinates determine the location of your image or video file on your canvas. The rotation angle refers to how far the video clip or image file has been turned on screen. Anchor points X and Y refer to the coordinates where the video or image file in your project will be rotated from. If you were to adjust the rotation angle, so for example here, the default values for anchor points X and Y are zero, meaning that the image or video file will be rotated from the center. Adjusting the pitch will mean rotating an image or video file by its horizontal axis. And the Yao property refers to a rotation of a video or image file by its vertical axis. Any changes which you made to the edit on your timeline using the inspector window will be reset should this setting be applied in your remove attributes window. Left click once on apply, like so. Underneath transform the zoom settings for either X or Y can be reset also using the subsequent option here in remove attributes. Note how when zoom X and zoom Y is reset, 
a connection is made between both values once again as it was in the default inspector window settings so that both properties can be adjusted simultaneously. Note how keyframes which were originally set by left clicking in the diamond icon here are also removed. Underneath the transform section in your inspector we have the cropping attributes which can also be removed underneath the zoom properties in the remove attributes window. Left clicking once in the crop box selects or deselects all cropping attributes like so. Returning to the transform section inside the inspector window, the bottom option of flip, horizontal and vertical can be reset also using the next option down in your video attribute section in remove attributes. Again, like we did with zoom, one of these options can be selected at a time or both can be selected by left clicking in the box next to flip or left click once again to deselect both attributes so that this particular attribute is not reset on your image or video file in DaVinci Resolve. I've applied both a horizontal and vertical flip setting to my video file here. I'm therefore going to reset both by left clicking in the box next to flip and left clicking on apply. Further down your inspector, you should see a retime and scaling set of options appear. The first two options, Retime Process and Motion Estimation, can be reset also in the Removes Attribute window. What if I were to make a colour adjustment to the video edit on my timeline here with Bobby? If I left click on the Colour tab at the bottom of my DaVinci Resolve screen, go to Colour Wheels, and increase the overall blue look of the video edit by left clicking on the circle underneath offset and dragging this to the right. Any color adjustments made to your video clip or image file can be reset using the color correction option just below the middle of the remove attributes window. Any plugins that you've also downloaded from the internet to adjust your video footage in any way can also be reset using the plugins option to the left of color correction also. Like so. The same applies to audio plugins that you may have applied to your project. Underneath the audio tab in inspector for my video edit of Bobby the dog, I have reduced the volume from 0 to minus 58.81. To reset this, I can go to audio attributes inside the same remove attributes window and tick the volume box before clicking on apply. Scrolling down the properties inside inspector, underneath audio, we can find clip equalizer, which enables us to adjust the tone of the audio track for the edit in our project. If I adjust the wave on the clip equalizer graph here by left clicking on the box next to clip equalizer with a grey circle and left clicking on the number 2 in the middle of the chart and dragging this up for example which will apply a modification to the audio of the video file. I'm going to right click on the audio segment of this particular edit so that the clip equalizer stays on screen. Should I right click on the video segment instead, the inspector window will switch back to the video properties. Left click on the box next to equalizer and go to apply to reset any changes you made to the original equalizer values. Like so. Finally in remove attributes we have retime effects and ripple sequence. What do these two do? In order to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to right click on the edit on the timeline featuring Bobby and go to retime controls. Using my mouse cursor now, I can stretch this current edit to make it slower by making the edit size longer on my project timeline or by making the video clip run quicker by reducing its size on this current timeline.
I'm going to expand the size of this particular video clip here by left clicking, holding my mouse button down at the end on the right side here of this edit and dragging my mouse cursor to the right to make the video clip last eight seconds now. Inside my media pool underneath master, I'm going to left click on the thumbnail for the Palm Trees MP4 video clip file and insert this on the timeline after the video clip of Bobby. I'm going to do this by left clicking on insert clip below the preview screen. Use F9 as a keyboard shortcut. Note how the new Palm Trees video clip commences at the eight second mark on my current project timeline. I still have the expanded video clip of Bobby to the left here, which now lasts for eight seconds instead of five. If I now right click on the edit featuring Bobby and choose remove attributes once more, I'm going to left click on the retime effects box and leave the ripple sequence box unticked. If I click on apply, Note how the video edit of Bobby is now reset to its original duration of five seconds. And there is a three second void in between this particular edit of Bobby and the new video clip of the palm trees. The palm trees clip remains in its original position where I inserted it at the eight second mark on the timeline. If I were to undo this attributes reset by holding control and pressing Z on my keyboard, I'm going to return to the remove attributes window once again by right clicking on the clip of Bobby and selecting this option once more. This time with retime effects ticked, I am also going to tick the box next to ripple sequence. Left click once and then go to left click on apply. The length of the clip with Bobby has been reset to five seconds with the subsequent palm tree clip still connected to the very end of the first clip with Bobby. Illustrating a ripple effect which occurs when you reset the retiming options to a particular edit on your DaVinci Resolve project timeline. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.